Okay friends, so I just finished the workout that we're about to do. I'm shooting this in reverse. So that is why I am covered in sweat right now. You got a good one coming your way. Today's workout is gonna focus on lower body and it's gonna use some newer equipment to my personal home gym. Um, I just got a set of heavier dumbbells, which I'm really excited about. I usually shoot using 10 pounds because it's all I have at home. Um, but I just got a set of 20 pound dumbbells. So first thing you're gonna need, heavy set of weights. You don't have to do 20, go up or down according to your fitness level. Um, but because we are focusing on lower body today, it's a bigger muscle group, you can definitely go higher than what you've used in the past for my dumbbell workouts. Second thing you'll need is a stepper or a longer step bench. This is what I'm using, just one of these cube ones to save space. Um, the more risers you use, mine came with four risers, the more of those you use, the harder this is gonna be and the bigger the impact when we do any sort of jumping or step up motion. I'm gonna use three risers today. You could do all four if you're feeling ambitious. Um, if you want it to be a little less intense, just use fewer. As for the structure, so first off, we're gonna start with three minutes of a lower intensity sequence. I usually don't do that, we usually get right to it. Um, I still want you to warm up on your own before we get to this, and I do have that five minute warm up on my channel, but I never know how many of you are actually taking the time to warm up before these videos, so this is just gonna kind of force you to dial it back at the beginning. So three minutes, three moves, 60 seconds each to start, and then we'll get to the bulk of it. The bulk of this workout is gonna be broken up into weighted sections and then a body weight section that's three minutes long and it's all about getting that heart rate up. For the weighted sections, you have three exercises. You do them for 60 seconds each. You're gonna do them all three on the right, we'll rest for 30 seconds, all three on the left, rest for 30 seconds, and then we move to that body weight portion. Keeping things simple today, every exercise you do is 60 seconds long. So when we get to that body weight section, it's gonna be three minutes all out, three moves, you guessed it, 60 seconds each. We're gonna go through that whole thing twice. So weighted section, cardio section, weighted section, cardio section. In total, this workout will take you a little over 20 minutes to complete. That being said, if you're looking for a longer workout today, you could always complete three sets of it. When we get to the end, you would just rewind the video back to the middle and then complete that last set again. Before we get to the workout, I'm gonna give you a preview of all the exercises you'll see today so that you know what's coming. As for modifications, the two best ways to modify throughout this workout, use less weight, lower your stepper. At any time, if using the two weights is too heavy, just put one aside and only use a single dumbbell. And as I guide you through the workout, I'll also give you verbal cues for modifying. As I already mentioned, with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're warmed up properly beforehand. I have a five minute warm up on my channel or you can do your own. Also take some time afterwards to cool down and stretch it out. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever music you like. So if you don't have a playlist queued up, you might wanna get that going. Okay, that was a lot of talking and if it sounds confusing, don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Let's look at that preview of the moves we're gonna do and then we'll get to the good stuff.
So we're going to start with three minutes of kind of gentler work just to ease ourselves into it. You're only going to need one of the heavy weights. You're going to hold it at your chest and you're just going to cross your hands over to kind of keep it pinned against the chest. We're going to do a good morning. From here, make sure you roll the shoulder blades down your back, chest is open, feet a little wider than hips width apart. And from here, we're going to hinge at the hips, folding forward, keeping the spine nice and straight. Now the movement starts with the hips moving back. So don't just bow your shoulders forward. Your knees are not locked out here. So soft little bend to the knees, hips slide back, torso stays long as it hinges forward. Keep that chest open. You should feel the hamstrings start to wake up on this one. When you get to the top, finish it by squeezing your seat. So you're coming up, squeeze your glutes at the top, but don't squeeze your butt and arch into your back, okay? Still engage through the core, knitting the ribs in. So when you're standing, it's like you're in a plank. Core is active, glutes are active. And again, if the weight is a little too heavy, just do this body weight. Remember, these first three minutes are not about pushing yourself to your absolute max. Okay, now we're just gonna add in a squat. So you're gonna do the good morning forward Bend those knees, drive up to the top. You might need to separate your feet just a little wider. Hinge it forward, sit your bum down, abs still engage, drive through the heels, squeeze your bum at the top. That's important, weight is in your heels, weight is in your heels, weight is in your heels. We got 30 more seconds, a little less than that to go here. If you're feeling this in your low back in a bad way, your core is not active, okay? Knit your ribs in. Okay, last move. We're gonna take it into just an alternating back lunge. So switch your grip so you're just holding the weight right here under your chin and alternating back lunge. So one foot steps back, bring it nice and low, stand. Other foot, just alternating side to side. Not about speed here. Now I really want you getting low so that back knee should almost touch the floor. Don't bang your knee of course, but do get it pretty low. Make sure you're keeping that front knee stacked over the heel. So when you're at your lowest point, think opposing 90 degree bends with the knees. Okay, and 30 seconds to rest. So we're gonna go into our first circuit now. We won't see those exercises again. We're gonna isolate the right leg to start, and we're gonna start with a Bulgarian lunge. So you're gonna need both weights. Your right foot, the target foot's gonna be on the floor, and the ball of your back left foot is gonna be on the stepper. You want a pretty wide stance, because when you sink down, you wanna make sure that your right knee isn't jutting too far forward. You wanna keep it right over the heel. Roll your shoulders back, let's go. 60 seconds here. So we're dipping that back knee down towards the floor. Keep weight in your front right heel. If this is too heavy, I want you to just drop down to one weight. Hold it at your chest. Halfway there. Really get low on this one. So you want this front right knee to almost come to a 90 degree bend. Okay, we're gonna take it into a squat to step up. The step up's on the right. So I want you to bring those weights up to your shoulders from here, facing that step bench. 
squat down, drive it up to the top, right foot steps to the stepper, left knee comes up, step it back, give me another squat. Remember what we talked about, about finishing the squat at the top. So when you come up, squeeze your seat, hips come forward, but abs are in tight. Okay, we're gonna drop down to one weight for the last move. We're gonna stay low. You're gonna keep your right foot on the bench. Pulse it in this back lunge, and then hop your back foot over to the side. Pulse it in the curtsy. Whew. Stay low. Weight is in that front right heel. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. 30 to go. Almost there. Ah, and shake it out. Okay, you have 30 seconds to rest. And then we're gonna do those same three exercises, but isolating the left leg. Bulgarian lunge will be first. Left foot is on the floor, ball of the right foot is elevated on that stepper. Square your hips forward and let's go. So weight is in that front left heel and we're trying to keep the knee over the heel. If it's jutting super far forward, that means you need to step your foot forward a bit. Back knee dips towards the floor, drive it up, weight in that left heel. Let's make sure those weights aren't causing our shoulders to hunch. So roll your shoulder blades back. Knit your ribs together, low abs pull up and in. Nice active core as we do this. Thirty to go. And I apologize if my breathing is getting heavy. Maybe after this first round, I'll switch and I'll use a voiceover instead, so you guys don't have to listen to a. Uh, Darth Vader over here. Okay, squat to step. So rack those weights on your shoulders. We're gonna do a squat and then it's the left foot that is gonna step to that bench. Right knee drives up, but if balance is off, just bring it lightly to the, uh, the stepper. Okay, drop one weight, other weight goes right under that chin, left foot is on the stepper, start in that low back lunge, two little pulses, curtsy, two little pulses. Keep that front knee pointing in the same direction as the toes the whole time, so even when you're in the curtsy, don't let the knee wobble out, okay? Tracking in the same direction as those toes.
You got it. Keep pushing. We're almost there. Ah, shake it out. Okay. We have a full 60 to recover. And then we are going to go, oh no, we don't. Only 30 to recover. We're going to go into that first uh, body weight cardio blast. We'll get 60 to recover after that, okay? That being said, if you need to pause the video, go for it. We're going to start with an up and over. Okay, gonna switch to a voiceover here so you guys don't have to hear me breathing loudly. We're gonna start with up and overs. 60 seconds, one foot's on the stepper, one foot is on the floor, and then as quickly as you can, you're gonna replace which foot is on the stepper hopping side to side. So you'll notice it's kind of a hop. There's a moment in time where both feet are off the floor. If you need to modify, slow it down to the point where it's a step up and over rather than that hop. So we're 20 seconds in, we got about 40 seconds to go here. Yes, you wanna go as quickly as you can. The goal here is to be totally out of breath by the end of the three minutes. Um, that being said, if it's getting to be too much, slow down the pace a little bit. Try to slow down instead of stopping altogether. You have under 20 seconds to go and then we'll move right into the next exercise. Coming up in 10 seconds, we are going to do a squat jump. Now, heads up, if your stepper is lower, these will actually be harder coming up. I'll explain what to do if it's too much. Okay, so you're going to sit down on the stepper, and from that seated position, you're going to go into a squat jump. So the lower the stepper, the harder this move is, which is the opposite of what I was talking about at the start of this workout, where typically the higher it is, uh, the harder it is. So if that stepper is too low for you, just do an air squat, okay? So just be a regular squat jump instead of coming all the way down. Another way to modify these, just stand instead of jumping. So you would sit down, you would come up and just stand and then sit back down. As you can see, I'm doing right now because these are killing me. You have under 20 seconds to go. If you're taking the modified version and you have a little energy left in the tank, maybe you try to add back in that jump. You have one final move to go. We're going to do hot feet, which is kind of like a football drill, and we'll add in a jump onto the stepper. Okay, so I want you to position yourself behind the stepper. Oh, cameo from my parents' dog, Wes. <laughs> position yourself with your feet behind the stepper and your feet are wide. Now, every time you hear one of those beeps, jump onto the stepper. You can tell I don't want to refilm this, so I'm just going to let the dog photobomb this workout. When you jump up to that stepper, land in a low squat so your feet are close together, button hips down and back, and make it quick so it's up to the stepper, then it's right back down. In these hot feet, could you sink your hips a little lower? You got it. There's no rhyme or reason to these beeps. They're just going off, and when you hear one, you hop up, hop back down. Ten seconds to go. Sink a little lower. We're almost there. And done. Okay, you have a full minute to rest. We're at the halfway point. We're gonna do that whole thing one more time. And then that will be your workout. I'm gonna use this uh, rest interval to get my dog off the couch because it is not supposed to be up there. <laughs> Okay, so we are back at the top with our strength section. We're gonna isolate the right leg. It's gonna be those three moves, the Bulgarian lunge, the squat to step up, and those pulses and a back lunge to a curtsy lunge. Let's start making our way into position. Those beeps are coming up. So right foot's gonna be forward on the floor ball. The left foot is planted behind you on that stepper. Remember, you want a wide enough stance so that as you dip that back left knee to the floor, your front right knee is staying over the heel. 
If these get to be too heavy, just ditch one of the weights and hold the remaining one at your chest. Dipping low, squeezing your glutes at the top as you rise up. We're right around that halfway point, so I want you to check in. Are you still getting as low as you were those first few reps? As we tend to tire, these tend to stay a little higher. We don't get as low. So really challenge yourself. Dip that back knee down, up. Now let's check in on our upper body. Your chest is open, so you might need to roll those shoulders down your back if you're starting to collapse and hunch forward. And our core is active, so we have a slight hinge forward with the torso. Spine is staying long. Ribs knit together. All right, we're going to take it into that squat to step. The step will be with the right leg. So standing in front of that stepper, button hips slide down and back, weight in the heels, squat, come to stand, squeeze your seat at the top, right foot to that stepper, drive your left knee up. If balance is off and driving the left knee up into your chest isn't happening, then just step the left foot to the stepper. At any point, if you need to modify during this workout, best way to do it is going to be to ditch one of those weights. You would just hold the remaining one at your chest. We're getting there. Try to get in one or two more reps here. All right, we're going to take it into those double pulses. So ditch one of your weights. You only need to use one for this. Right foot is going to be isolated on the stepper. Start in a low back lunge, pulse twice, and then hop that left foot behind the right in a curtsy position, two pulses there. So two little pulses, two little pulses, staying low. So notice I'm never straightening that right leg out all the way. Weight is in the right heel. Knee is staying over the heel and knee is tracking in the same direction as the toes. If these are too much, ditch that weight. Just do body weight for me. You have about 20 seconds to go, and then this right leg is done, and you'll get 30 seconds to shake it out. Stay with me right to the end. Stay low. Shake it out. Okay, so you have 30 seconds to rest, and then we're going to do those same three moves on the left side, and then you are done with the strength portion of this workout. Okay, let's start to make our way into position. Find those weights. Left foot is going to be forward on the floor. Ball of the right foot is going to reach behind you onto the stepper. Before you do anything, square your hips forward. So sometimes what happens on this one is we kind of roll open through that back leg. So real quick, check for me. Is your left hip closer to the wall in front of you than your right hip? If it is, slide that right hip forward, left hip back, squeeze your glutes, and then holding the hip square, dip down towards the floor. Check in. Weight is in that front left heel. Knee is staying over the heel. Slight hinge forward with the torso. So when you're in your lowest lunge, your shoulders are kind of over your front knee rather than over your hips directly. Whoop. Almost lost my stepper there. <laughs> Okay, so rack those weights on your shoulders. Use your legs to help you out if they are too heavy to just bicep curl to your shoulders, which hopefully they are. Hopefully you picked a heavy weight. And from here, we're going to do that squat step up with the left. So the left foot steps to the stepper every time that right knee drives up to your chest, active through the core. If driving that right knee up to your chest throws off your balance too much, step your left foot to the stepper, right foot to the stepper, and then back. 
When you sink into this squat, I want you to picture someone's grabbing you by the back of the pants. So that hip hinge starts the movement. Hips slide back, weight is in your heels, knees bend, torso hinges forward, but chest stays open, spine stays long, core is active. You have just about 15 seconds to go, so try to get in one or two more complete reps. Let's go for two. We're going to ditch one of those weights at the beeps. Okay, so we're going into those pulses. Remaining weight at your chest. Left foot is on the stepper. That's your focus. Start in a low lunge with the right foot on the floor. Two pulses, staying low. You're going to hop that right foot behind the left. Two curtsy pulses. Staying low the whole time. Weight is in that left heel. Knee is over that heel. Knee pointing in the same direction as those middle toes, especially when you do that curtsy. Just make sure the knee isn't buckling inward. You have about 20 seconds remaining using this weight, and then we'll just have that body weight cardio blast to finish. Stay with me. I want you to go right to the end without pausing. Two little pulses. Hop over. Two little pulses. 10 seconds to go. You got this. Okay, and 30 second break, shake it out. We're entering into our final three minutes of this workout. It is those same three cardio moves. So you're gonna start uh, with your feet positioned behind the stepper and kind of wide. Oh, just kidding, what move are we doing? We're starting with up and over. Start standing to the side of the stepper, there you go. One foot on the stepper, one foot on the floor, and then you will just switch which foot is on the stepper, hopping up and over. So it's a hop, you're almost airborne for a millisecond there. Side to side, run it out. Try to find a rhythm and stay in it as long as you can. When we get to the end of these three minutes, I want you to feel like you could not have gone a single second longer. So if you're comfortable right now, dial up that speed a little bit for me. If you need to slow it down, A-okay. Try to slow it down instead of stopping altogether. Just about 15 seconds. That is it. Maybe you try to pick up that pace a little bit. Almost there. Oh, I tell you to pick up the pace as I slow it down. That's not good. <laughs> At those beeps, we will go into that squat, sit to squat jump. But if your stepper is really low, you don't need to sit your bum all the way down to it. Remember, you can just do a regular squat jump. But taps that stepper. Come up, jump squat. Get some air. Land softly, sinking that butt right back down. If the jump is too much, just stand. Ooh, I'm struggling. I don't know about you guys. You have under 20 seconds to go. If you were modifying, maybe these last few seconds, you try to add back in that jump like I am. Let's do it. Seconds away from that final move. You got it. All right, let's do it. Hot feet. Remember, when you hear a beep, you are hopping onto that stepper. So start with your feet wide on either side behind the stepper. Run it out. Every time you hear a beep, you're hopping those feet quickly to the top of the stepper and then right back into that run. So when you're doing the hot feet, you're on the balls of your feet. And you're just kind of pedaling it out. Your feet barely even leave the floor. Try to stay low. So the lower you stay when you run those feet out, the bigger the burn. Let's go. We're in the final 30 seconds of this workout. Could you get a little lower? Quick, 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 right to the end. Let's do it, guys. Under 15 seconds. Run it out. When you hear those beeps, quick hop, 
Hop to the floor, get low. Could you sink a little lower? Burn it out, almost there, right to the end. Almost there, almost there. And done. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, just a note before I sign off, um, just because I used a stepper in those heavier weights today doesn't mean that every workout moving forward is going to use this new equipment, so I don't want you to feel like you have to go out and buy new equipment for your home gym. If you don't have access to this stuff, I still have plenty more body weight, resistance band, etc., etc., workouts coming your way. I just want to kind of diversify the videos I have so that the people who do have a stepper at home um, have some fun ways to use it. Okay, I post videos here every Monday. I will see you guys next week.